understanding type of anuman and their application so in the previous lectures we have understood what is anuman when we talk about inference the most common example that we took was understanding the example of uh, the smoke and fire on a mountain so wherever there is a smoke there is fire but wherever there is fire we cannot say always that there has been a smoke now this was a simple example that we did now with this we try to understood what was the minor term major term and the middle term so in this example mountain where the event was is a minor term smoke is a middle term and fire is a major term the relation that is being established between the middle term and the major term is what is known as vyapti so today we would understand the types of relations based on application that can exist between the middle term and the major term the middle term which is the hetu and the major term which is the sadhya there can be three different relations that can exist now what are these three different relations the first relation is kevalya anvyay the next is kevalya vyartareki and the third is anvyay vyartareki now how do we understand this in sanskrit the word kevalya means complete or whole or supreme so here we have kevalya which means complete anvyay means positive so there is a positive relation between the middle term and a major term and since it is kevalya anvyay that means there is complete positive relation that means in that example i cannot produce a negative relation which can be true so that is what is kevalya anvyay we'll see all these with an example as we move forward the next is kevalya vyartareki now kevalya again means complete or whole and vyartareki means to create difference or negative relation so here we have a negative relation between the middle term and the major term that is the hetu and the sadhya and this is a complete negative relation we cannot establish a positive relation with the same example however we do have a unique case which is known as anvyay vyartareki anvyay means positive vyartareki means negative so here we have a example where both positive and negative relations can coexist with the same uh, example that can be there and a example of smoke is and fire is what we have discussed and this we would be discussing further under anvyay vyartareki so these are the three types of anuman based on application so let's go and dive into the details of these one by one so the first one which is the kevalya anvyay as we said here we have a positive relation between the middle term and the major term and if i am trying to relate it to the mills argument in for uh, in the english western logic we say this is based on the mills method of agreement so here we have an agreement that is there and what could be a good example a good example could be i have uh, an example where all knowable objects are nameable that means whatever objects i know i can name those so i take let's say pencil so i know the pencil since i know the pencil i can name this pencil as exam rays so what happens here is whatever uh, i am trying to explain is a relation between a middle term and a ma major term and this is a positive relation now if i want to do a negative relation with the same example then let's see what it turns out to be so i say no non knowable objects are nameable that means any object which is which i don't know i cannot name it but this immediately comes to be an incorrect statement because in indian logic itself i have examples of soul i have examples of god we have named those but we do not know them so a negative relation between the middle term and a major term in this case comes to be incorrect and therefore this is kevalya anvyay that means a complete positive relation that can exist between a middle term and a major term 
So this is an example of a positive relation equivalent to the Mills method of agreement because here we are in agreement and technically if we talk about syllogism it is equated to the Barbara uh, in syllogism or the Western logic. The next one that we talk about is Kevalyev Vyartareki which is a negative relation between the middle term and the major term. If we, if we equate the same to the Mills method, here we say this is based on the Mills method of difference. So there it was Mills method of agreement, here it is Mills method of difference. Now in this case the agreement of absence is there. There in the case of Kevalya Anvyay we said there was an agreement of presence. We knew that all knowable objects are nameable so there is a presence but under Kevalya Vyartareki there is a, a agreement of absence. So if I say no non-soul substance has life that makes sense that means whatever substance do not have soul Ha, do not have life but if I say this is correct then that automatically means that if this uh, substances do not have soul they do not have life that means animals have life so animals have soul and this is what I can infer and therefore it is an example of Kevalya Vyartareki here I have taken negative sentences into account now if I take this sentence as uh, let me try to make it a positive sentence and see whether it turns true. So if I say sub, so, uh, substances which have soul have life. That means uh, substances which have soul have no life. That means this is an incorrect statement and therefore I cannot give a positive example of the same example. And hence Kevalya Vyartareki is a special case where the same example I cannot relate as a positive example. So therefore Kevalya Vyartareki always establishes a negative relation, a complete negative relation between the middle term and a major term. Just to understand it again, if I say no non-soul substance has life, that means whatever substance have soul have life, animals have soul, animals have life, so animals have soul and that's what we have inferred from this negative instance here. And therefore, this is an example of Kevalya Vyartha Reiki. The next example that we talk about is Anvyay Vyartha Reiki. Now here we have Anvyay as per the Sanskrit terminology which is positive and Vyartha Reiki which is negative. So there is a both positive and negative relation that coexists. If I want to equate it again to the Mills method, what would be the example? The example would be pretty simple and this would be the Mills joint method of agreement and difference because the Kivalya Anvyay was method of agreement. Kivalya Vyartirek was example of disagreement or difference and therefore this is a method of joint method of agreement and difference as per the Mills terminology and here we have both positive and negative relation between the major term and the middle term that is the Hetu and the Sadhya. Now let's see how the examples are very simple the smoke and fire. So in the first instance I say all smoky objects are fiery. So wherever I see smoke I see fire on the hill I am seeing the smoke therefore the hill has fire and this is an example of unwear there is a positive relation that I am trying to establish but the same example of smoke and fire I can demonstrate with a negative example. So that was an example of unwear now let's talk about an example of Vyartareki. In the example of Vyartareki we have no non-fiery objects are smoky that means if there is no fire there is no smoke but on the hill I see the smoke and therefore the hill has fire. So this is an example of Vyarti Reiki where I am saying that there is no non-fiery object that are smoky and therefore this is an example of negative relation that exists between 
the middle term and the major term that is the hetu and the satya so in this case we have understood three applications of anumana those are the kevalya anvay which is a positive relation kevalya vyartha reki which is a negative relation and anvay vyartha reki which is a positive negative relation between the middle term and the major term we would be covering many more interesting lectures on logic stay tuned have a wonderful day ahead